Garrett Gabriel with Coldwell Banker and True Piper Winger here in Salina, Kansas, and this is Real Estate in One Minute. Today's video is going to be about estimated proceeds of sale. Um, this is something that I do for anybody who's getting ready to sell a house, and this is something that you should ask for if you're getting ready to sell a house, because not all agents will just straight up offer one. It's really easy to do and very important. What this is, is your agent is going to take your home and they're going to figure what they figure it's going to sell for. Not necessarily what you're going to list it at. What is this house really going to sell for? Okay. They're going to take that. They're going to subtract what you owe on the house. They're going to subtract the realtor fees, miscellaneous expenses, title expenses, insurance expenses, whatever other expenses come up. They're going to figure all of that in and let you know on the day of your sale, realistically, what are you going to walk away with in cash or possibly what are you going to owe? I had recently a situation where another realtor had been helping somebody and they even said, we just need to get, we need to break even. We just want to break even and we want it gone. I said, well, um, you could have broke even at the price that we're going to be at here, um, 4,000 lower than you had it. And if they had told you that, you could have saved yourself, oh, six months in rent, uh, which added up $800 a month. That adds up pretty quick. So I'm just saying, you should ask your agent to do an estimated proceeds of sale for you so that you know on closing what you're going to be walking away with. I'm Garrett Gabriel and that's Real Estate in One Minute.